Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the 3-in-1 soldering iron, heat gun, and torch. This is going to be a butane powered torch so it's going to make it a, a lot easier to get access to wherever you're trying to work rather than having to lug a cord around with you or use an extension cord or anything else like that. So it makes it much more portable in that respect. It also should heat up pretty quickly since we're using fuel rather than worrying about an electric filament to get heated up fast. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what comes in the kit. I'll talk a little bit a lot about what you can expect here. But first, let's talk a little bit about the case. That's maybe the biggest detractor that I've seen so far of this kit, uh, just because it's already starting to kind of come apart. But I think that doesn't really affect the overall product, just something I want to mention. So you can see at the hinges, they're kind of cracking a little bit. And that was just something that made me uh, not super thrilled with the case overall. It's pretty simple. I mean, this is just keeping your stuff safe so it doesn't have to really be anything magically pristine. But if we take a look inside, we're going to have the unit itself. So you'll be able to fill it with butane here at the end. And then you'll have an on switch and then a regulator for the flame. So to turn it on, you'll just slide that over all the way to the right. And then right now the little knob is at the highest flame. I'd probably start there and then adjust it down. Uh, you might feel the opposite way um, just to get that flame wherever you want it. Once it's full of fuel and all those things are turned on, then you can hit the igniter and that will light the flame. Now, I do not have this full of butane, so just showing you how that's going to operate without actually having it going. So you have a couple options as far as the configuration here. This would be uh, kind of the blower um, configuration. We remove this little piece. You can take this off and pop this attachment on which will allow us to attach all our other stuff. Pop that back on there. Tighten it down. So from here, we can still use this or we can use any of our soldering tips. You get several here, so you'll have one that has kind of a double-edged point, which I know is kind of hard to see since it's so small. And then we'll have just your traditional slanted soldering point Oop. just slanted on one side and then a kind of needle tip for that solder point you also have this kind of wedge shaped tool to go in there this is what they call a hot knife so if you just want to have something kind of as a cutting tool you can put that on there let it get heated up and then cut through stuff with that. You'll also have a little shield. So this will be good for the um, heat gun aspect if you just want to heat stuff up right there and um, shrink down any kind of little heat shrink sleeves. That would probably work well there since it's going to make sure that the heat kind of comes back around and cycles around. And then last, for the attachments, you also get a needle point attachment, which allows you to poke very small holes through stuff. So those are all the attachments. You do also get a stand with a little sponge, so you can dab some water on there and have a place to kind of clean off your tip as you go so it doesn't get gunked up. And you can also rest that tip there. It does have a built-in little kickstand, which is nice, so that if you just need to set it down quickly, you don't have to worry about scorching the table that you're working on or lighting anything else on fire. And it does also have a safety cover to go over the top to, again, make sure that you're not going to accidentally hit your elbow against this and singe yourself or burn anything else that might be meltable or flammable. And you can also just set it on the, on the table and not have to use a little kickstand. I don't... Doesn't really look like you can use, well, yeah, you can kind of. The kickstand doesn't quite like to play with that cover, so you kind of have to use one or the other. So, personal preference. And then it also comes with a little tube of solder wire as well, so that'll kind of get you going. 
As far as the temps, you can find those listed out on our website here at eTrailer.com. This does give you a 8.5 MI tank, so allows you to see what's going on. Since that is a clear tank there, you can see how much fuel you've got and know how much time you have left. They do say that this can work continuously for about 30 to 45 minutes. Anything over that, the tool would need a rest before it burns up itself. That's pretty much all there is to it for our quick look at the 3-in-1 soldering iron heat gun and torch. I think this is a really nice tool. Again, the fact that it's cordless is always nice. I never like to have to worry about having any extension cords to run where I need to work, so that makes it really um, functional in that respect. The case, although not the most durable thing, it is nice and slim, should be easy to fit into a toolbox or anything else. Maybe if you're using this for an RV, you can stash it easily in any kind of compartment, so should be a good addition to your toolkit. I hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right tool for you. We do have a lot of other tools here at eTrailer.com, so be sure to check them out. And thanks for watching.